In this video, I will show you how to start collecting emails for free using Framer, and I will do it in less than 10 minutes. Without further ado, let's dive right into it. To add an input field, we go to the Insert tab, search for Input, and drag it inside our page. Something really cool about this element is that it comes with some pre-built animations, like if you try to submit an empty field, you have this nice little vibration, or if something is wrong with your format of your email, you have this explanation. Now to edit the element, we select it and scroll down to the input section. And here you will find all the settings for this component, starting with the service. We have four options, but we're going to leave this for later. Then you have the success options. Here you have the option to take users to a different page or show an overlay. And then you can set the layout to horizontal or vertical. For this example, we're going to leave it to horizontal. And now to edit the button, we come here. Here you have the option to show or hide your button. I don't really know why would you hide it, so we're going to leave it there. We're going to change the copy to join waitlist. I will use Poppins, 15, and Semibold. And I will change the color to my primary color. I will leave the text to white and I will dock it inside the input field. I will try to use all the customizations, even if the result is not the best, I wanna show you all the possibilities you have here. As you can see, the, we need to change the width because our text or our copy is really long, so maybe 120. Here you can change how much you wanna inset it. We're gonna set it to four and you can add a shadow too if you want. Now to edit the input section, we come here. We can change the placeholder to enter your email. You're gonna change the color of the placeholder to our secondary color. Then we're gonna change the fill to our secondary 600 that is the same color of the background. Text is the color of the final input of the user. We're gonna change this to white. We're gonna leave the height to auto. Radius, we're gonna make it round. And maybe it's a good time to add a border. And we're gonna use our secondary color. And we can also add a shadow. And now to change the font of the placeholder and the final input text, we go here and change these to poppins. And now I will preview this. I think it's already looking good. Now we can add a focus mode too. So we select it. I'm here to input and go to focus. This will add a border whenever we are using the element. We're going to make it one and we're going to use our primary color again. I want to add more padding here. And we can also change the width of our component. Maybe to 340. Now we preview. I think it looks good. It may not be the best looking input field, but as I said, I wanted to show you all the possibilities you have. And now if you try to submit something without having a service, we have this vibration. So to be able to show you the success page, I'll need to first link it to one of the services. As I mentioned before, we have four options. I couldn't really try loops because they are currently on waitlist, but MailChimp, Formspark, and Get Waitlist, the three of them offer you a free tier, but Get Waitlist is way more generous and you get all these features for free. That's what I will be using this on this tutorial and I will also recommend it to you if you want to keep your project free. After creating a free account, you will find this dashboard. Here we click on Create Waitlist. We can name it tutorial then we don't need to add any waitlist url they have a pre-built referral program where if someone refers to someone else they can skip ahead some spots in your waitlist but yeah we don't we don't need this for this tutorial so here we just click save and as simple as that in two clicks we have our waitlist here you have more other options that i will leave to you to explore for example you can edit the email that the customer will get but for this tutorial, all we need to do is to copy the ID. Then back in Framer, we change this to get waitlist and paste the ID here. And now if we preview and submit an email. 
we don't have the vibration anymore and now if we go back to waitlist here in signups we can see that we are already collecting emails if you're liking this video so far i only have one request for you and that's to click the like button below it will take you probably less than a second but it really helps the channel thank you now we can work on the success overlay or page I will spend more time working on the overlay because I believe it's a little more tricky than creating a page. So to create an overlay, we select the input field. And then we come here to the right and add overlay. As you can see, you can find the first problem here. The header is automatically on top of our overlay. And to solve that, all you need to do is to increase the index here. Now I will add a text real quick. Now I will select these two and create a stack. Then I will use the success color for my fill. Here we can make the height and width to be feed content. And we can add some padding. Also want to add some border radius. Maybe eight. We'll move it to the top. And I will copy and paste a check mark icon and a close icon. To make the close icon close the overlay, we select the element, come here in interactions and make it close overlay. And we can add an appear animation. For that, we select the element, come here in the effect, and we're gonna make it a slide from top. And we're gonna leave the default transition that is spring. Now to test this, we close the overlay editing, come here to our input field, and here we need to select show overlay. Now if we preview, input an email, and enter, we have this nice looking overlay. And of course, if we come to waitlist and refresh this, we're still capturing emails. Now I will show you really quick how to set up a success page. So we go to the pages tab, add a page here, and we're gonna call it success. Here I will change the background to our secondary 600, that is the same background we were using, and I will add a random text here. If you have a page, normally you will need a button to allow users to go back to the home page. So I'll come to insert and search for button. I'll drag it here. And to link it to the home page, I just select the element, come here in link and select home. Now we go back to our component and change these to pages. And here we select the link that is success. Now if we preview and input an email, enter, it takes you to our success page. This looks terrible, but again, I just wanted to show you how pages work. And if I click, it takes me back to the home page. And to finalize this, I will just copy the same animation, right click, copy, copy effect paste it here, paste effects, and then I will change the delay. And now we preview, and we have this nice looking animation. And that's it, as simple as that, you can start capturing emails completely free using Framer. I hope you found this helpful. And if you wanna learn more about Framer, Figma, and other design tools, follow me and see you on my next tutorial.